let me ask you something. You must have studied the distinction between solids and liquids. So tell me, what is a solid and what's a liquid? Oh, <laughs> solids can flow liquid. Solids cannot flow. Liquids can flow. But what about sand? Yeah. yeah. What about sand? What about salt? Exactly. Solids have a different volume. Shape. 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 Did you uh, have a definition of the volume? We have to write down points. Volume. Yeah, molecular volume. Yeah, molecular volume. Shape. shape. And shape. And liquid? Liquid, they have a defined volume. They have a defined volume, but no shape. Volume. Are you saying liquid has no shape or something else? The shape of the container. The shape of the container. Okay, okay. Takes up the shape. Of the container. So let me think of a few examples. All right. So this is solid. It has its own volume, its own shape. If I take a grain of wheat, it is solid. It has its own shape, its own volume. I take a handful of wheat. It has its own volume. I put it in a glass. It takes shape of the glass. In some other thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that I understand. Each grain is solid, but a handful of grain is liquid. What are you laughing about? Doesn't a handful of wheat take the shape of the container? So you need to include the look, look, look. I just want yeah. to apply your definition. That's a better idea. Yeah, when we consider solids and liquids, we does it? I, let me ask you. Does the handful of wheat <laughs> take the shape of the container? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. According to your definition, shouldn't handful of wheat yes. be liquid? According to that definition. According to the definition. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let me let me think through a few more examples to make sure that I understand it. If you take a soap bubble, what is the shape of the bubble? Spherical. Yeah. Soap bubble is solid. <coughs> right? Okay, let me try again. The sun, what's the shape of the sun? Sphere or cube? Almost sphere. Okay, almost a solid. <laughs> if I take a sewing thread, huh? if I take a sewing thread, about two meters long, put it in a glass, it takes the shape of the whatever glass, right? So it's red. It's a liquid. It's liquid. It's liquid. <laughs> okay. I have learned. So it is a liquid. You have no. Okay. So sewing so thread is liquid. Sun is solid. So bubble is solid. Sand is liquid. When taken into collection. When taken into collection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not a grain of sand. A grain of sand is of course solid. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But can you give me all the definition then? Yeah. Pardon me? Can, can you change the definition? definition? But you're, you, if you change the definition, you should remember this. Exactly. You're changing what is there in the textbook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What the, okay. Matter with strong intermolecular forces. Very oh. strong. Oh. Very strong. Intermolecular forces and low intermolecular And a low compressible space. Low intermolecular so come up with a definition that will be good. Yeah. Matter with strong intracellular, like matter with intramolecular spaces. Matter with strong intramolecular spaces. Matter with okay, let me write that down. Okay, we now we are not concerned with exams, we are concerned with your beliefs. Solid is matter with strong intra or inter? Inter. Inter. What is the difference between intra and inter? And you mean inter, right? Yeah. When we do science, when we do science, actually, when we do any academic inquiry. You have to be very careful about which words you use. We cannot use words loosely. Inter molecular attraction. Yeah. Is it sufficient? And low liquid is low 
intermolecular attraction. Relatively. Because yeah. the gases are extremely low, so liquid will uh, you can tell the relativity. Yeah. So what that means is states of matter will be like this, very strong and very weak. So it's a matter of degree, right? According to your definition, it's a matter of degree. As you proceed from here to here, it becomes less and less of a solid. And somewhere in between, it is somewhere between solid and liquid, and less of a liquid, and somewhere between liquid and gas, and then gas. So it is not three types of matter. Three. It's a matter of degree. It's like height. When you say very tall person and very short person, it's you're talking about different degrees, right? It's a continuum. So what you're saying is that states of matter is a continuum. Some parts of water, when you try to freeze, you'll find that parts of water crystallizes, right? Yes. And other parts may not. But the part that is crystallized, is it a sudden transition? Do you know what a supersaturated solution is? Yeah. Yeah. What happens when you stir a supersaturated solution? <coughs> the deposit. Suddenly you have crystals. Yeah. Crystals are solid. Is there a sudden transition? There is some difficulty in this, right? But solution have nothing to do with matter. They are like... Sugar solution, is that solid or liquid? But it has sugar molecules between the water molecules, right? Right. So when you use the word mole uh, solid, are you talking about molecules? Or about collections of molecules? Yeah. Collections of molecules. Collections of molecules, not no. molecules, right? The molecule in water, steam, and ice are the same. You're talking about how the molecules put come together, right? Okay. <laughs> it is for you to figure out how to deal with this particular strange phenomenon. And when you do that, one thing you should do is there are many strange things in this, whatever it is, solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. Ask yourself, what you mean by solid intuitively? If you are a blind person and you have never See. been taught any physics or chemistry or anything, if you try to push this, you will have one experience. If you take a bucket of water and try to do the same thing, you will have another experience, right? Yeah. What will you call the first experience? Solid. 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 Because yeah. your, your hands will not go through. What will you call the second experience? Liquid. Liquid. What about gas then? Just Same thing. Gas, gas. Yeah, so you have to figure out what that is. I am talking about solid and liquid for now. Okay. So there is an experiential thing about solid and liquid. If you take a tub and you put your hand through it, it will go through. If you take out your hand, what matters? Atta dough. The shape remains that way, right? Whenever the way you put your hand yeah. in. Yeah. If you do the same thing with water, so it doesn't, the shape doesn't come back. So that also seems to be important. So what are the properties of matter? Hand going through, uh, the shape retaining itself when you distort it. What are the other possibilities? Think of all those possibilities. Don't think about the definition for now. Think about the different properties of matter. And then you will find something very interesting. If you do a Google search, you will find that if you mix maida and not make it solid type of dough, but semi-liquid, mm -hmm. and if you put it in a swimming, sorry, in a, let's say in a, in a bathing tub, you can jump on it. You will not sink if you keep jumping. What? If yeah. you keep jumping, you will not sink. Yeah. Yeah. You stop jumping, you will sink. Wow. This is a very strange state of matter. It behaves like water as long as you jump. Yeah. It behaves like solid. No, sorry, yeah, yeah, if, you be, yeah. if you keep jumping, it behaves like solid. If you stop jumping, it behaves like liquid. There was this thing on the street genius. Yeah, that had genius. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you put it on a speaker. Sound. So yeah. it. The moment you start playing the music on a high volume, it jumps up like yeah. 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 or something. And when you stop it, it behaves like a solid. And yeah. you stop it, it falls on a liquid. So yeah. it is based on particles. This can be channel, right? Nagio. Nagio. 
So is that a solid or liquid? It's a semi-liquid. It depends on the conditions in which it is kept, right? So what sound makes objects solid? I don't think you can conclude that. The blue color. Sound is a form of energy. So energy with. Wait. So if so I, keep, I keep water on a speaker, it's not going to turn to ice, right? Maybe the but energy is just energy. not enough for water. Yeah. Mm. If you supply it's sufficient amount of water. sound, yes. Yeah. If sure. I'm saying ah. if you supply so sufficient amount, <laughs> 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 yeah, all of us stand in yell on ice. I'm saying sufficient amount in the sense that it needs. It needs. It needs. Which is very large. But yeah, it's not impossible. Neither is it infinite. That's a good, uh, that's a good state become, to be in. No, what is it about water vapor? Kesali. What is it about water vapor? Because energy, 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 if you heat it, suppose you got water, you heat it, you're providing water energy. Water is the same. Water is the same energy. You're providing energy and it's going from liquid to solid. It's going from liquid to vapor. Yeah. But if we make it, so the energy is the same. This is how we learn it. You see, we learn it. You give a solid to liquid. Yeah. We are going to liquid to solid. Yeah. That's the reverse of it. 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 Which type of energy you give, no?